Chapter 15 They brought me into the fold. The others began to trust me a little. Then, one day, without half realizing, I became a wheel girl. I picked my ass up off the cold, hard floor of that dilapidated shed with a pile of blankets Freddy threw down the night before, and ooh, was I sore to the core. Freddy was already up and knocking about, sorting out some wrenches, taking a soldering iron to some metals, letting off a little heat. I gravitated toward him. The sound of the soldering iron was a peculiar comfort to me. I was yawning aloud as I wrapped a blanket tightly around me. Then, quietly, I watched him. The black and gray stubble of beard. The real guns for arms. At least three times as thick as mine. The illegible ink from homemade ink guns, black on black and faded. One of his dissimilar eyes focused in on what he was doing, and infrequent, kind of cute grunts came out of him as he readjusted himself to do whatever random DIY appealed to him. He was fashioning weaponry for a blitz I was to be part of that very day. Hell no. Hell yes. Look what he's got me in now. With a cool hanging off his lower lip and his eyes squinting against the smoke and not all the marbles left in his head. All of us a day older and crazier, too. He wants me to shut up and drive the van. Spare the conversation. I don't have much of a choice, and I do like to drive. So off we go in some kind of hot silence with a cold morning behind us. The air dead still. I got both hands on the wheel, following directions. He wa waits the last second to tell me where to turn, and I gotta adjust real quick on an unforgiving suspension. I break the rules and shout, Jesus, will you give me a little more notice, please? This ain't a Porsche. And he tries, then forgets. And I forget to stay shut up like he wants reacting when he yells at me for missing a turn. And he lets me react without any notion of punishing me because our gods were not punishing gods. Thank God.